Hi, I'm going to show you how to get started with the SpinCAD Designer program to make cool patches for the Spin FV1 chip. The very first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to make a very basic bypass patch, which is not at all exciting, but it gets you started and also shows you how to use the simulator. So the first thing I do for each patch I'm going to try to create is I go up here to the I.O. Mix menu. I put in an input block. These are your input connectors. I also put in an output block representing your output connectors. Then I put a line between the output one of the input block and input one of the output block, and that connects left input to left output. Similarly, over here, output two goes to input two, and that connects the right input to the right output. Next thing I'm going to do is to go to the simulator menu, and here I'm going to set a simulator source file. What I've done is I've previously made a stereo 16-bit wave file, and this is recorded at 32.768 kilohertz sampling rate, which corresponds to the sampling rate on the spin development board. There are some other sampling rates that you can use. You can uh, set the sample rate, have the option to choose 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. You also have two options for where the simulator sound is going to go. One way is to the sound card and this is what you mostly use when you're going to be auditioning it in real time so it'll go to your headphones or speakers. And then also you can make it go to a file in case you want to record it and that's actually what I'm going to do for part of this so that I can lay the simulated sound into the video. But uh, I'm going to pretend that I did it through the sound card. So to start the simulation, I just press the button that says Start Simulation. And then when I'm done listening to it, I press Stop Simulation. Another part of the simulator is the level viewer. Uh, and this gives you sort of an averaged signal output of the left and right. I'm going to just show that right here. You can use that uh, to visualize uh, levels or whatever, or see difference between left and right. You can also use control signals uh, connected to the output and see what those are doing. I'll probably make a tutorial about that that's uh, specifically dedicated to that topic later.